Social media outcry and has gotten many people fired up. I'm talking about the decision the city council made to end its lease with the railway museum at the Santa Fe Depot. Our Sonora Scott went straight to the source and she explains. Contrary to rumors circulating around San Angelo, the railway museum has not been derailed. Just put on a new set of tracks. This is not a problem with the city. This is more or less a problem, a problem with the board. Lane Horwood, a board member who was recently brought on, is now the interim president of the board as of late Tuesday night. This museum is kind of in a stale moment in its, in its life right now. It's not living up to its full potential or generating the revenue it should. Those are just a few reasons the city council voted to end its lease with the museum. On the 15th of September, that lease is going to expire. Horwood, along with Shannon Carpenter, newly hired executive director of the museum, say new faces, a new life, and a new outlook is what the city ultimately wanted. They do not want to close the museum. They want to sign a new lease. The city genuinely does want to see this museum thrive. The drastic vote to end the lease was more of a shock and awe factor to inspire change. I know that we will move forward in, a, in the right way, in the Christian way, and we will make this happen. Speaking of moving forward, what happens when the new staff and board members have proven themselves to the city? From that point, they will go month to month with us or they will sign a brand new 20-year lease. In San Angelo, Sonora Scott, back to you.